it's William here, the Bangkok voice coach. Uh, it's very warm, it's the middle of the day here in Bangkok, and this is my good friend, Puppy. Say hello, Puppy. Hello. Puppy is staying with us for a few days, and I've got rather attached to him. In fact, he stayed in the bed last night. And he lives around the corner with my nephew, Hummer. But I'm kind of hoping that he might come and stay here, because he is the perfect dog. He doesn't bark, he doesn't eat very much, and he doesn't like to go for walks. He just likes to sit there being all cuddly and perfect. And uh, he also has the added benefit of speaking a little bit of English, which I find really lovely. Even though he's a Thai dog and probably was born in a Thai shop, he speaks English to me anyway. Today I'm going to look at Forestella singing Nella Fantasia. I know this song very well. Let's go right in. That's the end of the first verse. And it was B flat major soprano key, exactly the same key as a Sarah Brightman or any other soprano that I've ever sung with. This is the key they sing it in. I used to sing it in B sometimes, just sub a semitone. What is interesting is that you don't expect this soprano voice to start, because it really isn't. I wouldn't call that a countertenor. I know what a countertenor sounds like, a cathedral voice that doesn't go anywhere near that height. I think there's a tendency with this song to sing it too slowly. I don't know about you, puppy, but I felt that that was going so slowly at one point, it was almost coming to a standstill. And then you see, if you go that slowly, what's your problem? You run out of breath and you have to breathe in the middle of words. In fondo la nima. Well, la nima is a word, I think it means so. So we shouldn't really need to breathe in the middle of la nima. Uh, so tempo-wise, a little bit slow, but in terms of beauty of tone, just gorgeous. Ah, oh, I like this guy.
interesting is they went up a tone from B flat to C, uh, and that brought in Ko Ru Rim, who for the first time sang the melody. What's nice here is he's singing in a very light way, actually. He's probably the most light I've heard him singing. They are very clever in that they move the textures around all the time. And there was just a, a moment there where they sang in octaves, and before that it was a trio, you know, so it's this variation. This is something really clever because I used to sing in a trio and we used to feel we had to all sing all the time. But when you've got a quartet, it can be a trio, it can be a solo, it can be a, a duet in octaves like that. So you get this constant change of texture. Really nice again there was a little, just a little issue of it getting a bit too slow and having to breathe in a word and i think the key change was a really good idea because actually as a song it is an unusual song and that is three verses with no chorus and no middle eight that can be tricky to keep it interesting so what they've done puppy did you did you get that what they've done is they've varied who is singing and they had that key change on the third verse, up a tone to C, and then they bring it to a close again, just for the sense of romance. Of course, anything that starts and ends in a certain way is a part of this romantic circle, circle of romance. Thanks for watching um, and uh, checking in here with me and Puppy in Bangkok. And uh, please do subscribe and look out for more reaction videos that I make over the next few days. It's William here, saying goodbye for now. Bye.